Once there lived three grizzly bears in a house in the forest. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear sat down to eat their porridge. Ooh, much too hot, growled Papa bear. Let's go walk in the forest. That's when Goldilocks came by, found their house in the thicket. Knock, 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 no answer. So Goldie entered the kitchen. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair way too hard. Mama Bear's chair way too soft. Baby Bear's chair just right. Just right, just right. Just as gold, he settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Gold, he went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed way too hard. Mama Bear's bed way too soft. Baby Bear's bed just right, just right, just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Three bears came back home. Soon as they stepped in, they knew they were not alone. Someone's been eating my porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby. And they ate it all up. Ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby. And they broke it. Upstairs in their bedroom now. What do you think they noticed? Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Cried Baby. And there she is. There she is. Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter down the stairs and through the door. Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Yeah. Huggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um. Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see. One sunny day. Who knows why? He thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! And up the hill a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick! I played for fun! The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick! me again. Okay, I promise. The very next day, 
at half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf, wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep, to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come, hurry, hurry, run, run, run. Wolf, wolf, it's not a game, please come now. But no one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright That wolf stole every sheep in sight The little boy was very sad Because he knew that he'd been bad He decided there and then I'll never ever lie again The most important thing to do Is always, always tell, tell the, the truth, truth. <laughs> <laughs>
The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Mouse was creeping through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday soon you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion said, You tiny thing. What can you do for me? Tell you what, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and alone. I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. Best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. Best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. Okay, you two, snuggle in and close your eyes, and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She followed a path through the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh-huh. His hat and said, How do you do? Uh huh. Uh huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh huh. She walked away, but the big bad wolf knew a faster way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The big bad wolf came to Granny's house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said, then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Dear, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh-huh. 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 Granny, what great big ears you have. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Granny, what great big eyes. 
things you have. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Granny, what great big teeth you have. The wolf said, Better to eat you with. Uh-huh. Never came back. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're safe now, Granny. The little girl said. Uh huh. Uh huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh huh. Uh huh. They ate the cookies happily, and that's the end of our story. Uh huh. Word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast. But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Stuck in glue The day of the big, big race The hare, she laughed Ho, ho, ho That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow I can't be beaten No, no, no The day of the big, big race Poor old tortoise, sure enough Moved so slow and huffed and puffed He was tired, but he was tough the day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed. The day of the big, big race. Just five minutes, not a minute more. And it wasn't long before the boastful hare began to snore. The day of the big, big race. Was strong the day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs, let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race.
what's the matter? You know, I really don't feel like going to school today. Me either. I'm fine. I just don't want to go. Maybe I can tell Mom I'm sick. Well, good luck. Have you ever asked mom and dad for something you really want? It seems like all they say is no. I think we can help. When we ask for what we want, mom and dad say no. We'll show you how to get to yes. Here's the way to go. How? Pretend. Yes. Dad, can I have some cheese? Yes. Mom, can I have an apple? Yes. And blueberries, please? Yes. 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 Do your homework, clean your room. I bet that you can guess. When you ask to go and play, of course, they'll answer yes. Oh. I get it. Pretend to be them. Walk inside their shoes. Imagine what they think and 
Dad, would you like to dance? Yes. Mom, can you take me skating? Yes. Dad, can we go to France? What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what it is. I give you a clue. You start, Noah. Okay. I spy with my little eye something that is green. Could it be the grass? Nope. Could it be that bush? Nope. Could it be that tree? Yes, you're right. Yay! Be 
the seesaw? No? Could it be the slide? Yes, you're right! Yay! Your turn! I spy with my little eye Something that is round Could it be that circle? No! Could it be that ball? No! Could it be that hoop? Yes, you are right! Yay! Sister 